like Costa Rica, swipe a visa, 17, but I'm gonna be a millionaire. Drift the beam, a buddy sneakers pack. The WSJ Radio, the number one college radio station all over New York City at St. John's University. We oh. have a special guest with us from hey. all the way from the West Coast, Bankroll hey. Hayden. Bay Area, thank you for having me, man. It's Bay crazy. Area. They told me he was going to do some college shit, so I'm hyped for that. I'm right. trying to get into all the university all frat the parties. University. Let me know. Hit my line. I'm pulling up. So if you had to choose one college to go to, like, for parties or, or even for performances, because they do performances. Oh. <laughs> man, hold on, hold on. Let me think, bro. Hey. Hold on, man. I know they be lit. <laughs> There's too many, bro. I don't even want to fuck no UCLA. I'm trying to think of some like lit, lit shit. Like, what's heard, like the biggest school for real? I heard Howard be lit for like yeah. performances. If you ever okay. go to Howard or Shout come to St. John's man. too. Hey, it's still love to UCLA too. I fuck with y'all. Right. Yeah, I'm going to come so, to Howard, man. I seen that you did a, just recently did a song with Lil Tecca. Hell yeah. He's Lil, on New York native. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, man. Come through out now on all platforms. Future and Lil Tecca. Go get that. Is there any other New York artist that you are in all like right. in tune that you would like to collab with? Mm. Here, I'm so yeah, we're in New York. Yeah, yeah. Let me think. Like, what's um? Uh, oh no, for real. You know? Yeah. I, honestly, like, I got some collabs, but I just be fucking with who fuck with me type shit. Right. Doing my own little thing. So you know, what's up? What's up? Like your favorite artist in New York? Um, Stunner Gambino. Oh yeah, definitely. Shout out Stunner Gambino. That's, that's bro. I follow him on Instagram. Right. Shy like Bills, him. all of them. They all yeah. nice. Hell yeah. No, if I had to choose, I'll do Stunner Gambino, bro. I right. fuck with. Honestly, cause like I fuck with people that is like upcoming on the rise, yeah, like right. shit that's like already up here. You know what I'm saying? I, I like to fuck with shit that's gonna grow. Uh, nah, I've, I never respect that. I respect yeah, yeah. that. So yeah. in New York, there's a staple in here called a chopped cheese. Have you ever had it? I never had it. You got you one? Never had me? it. Uh, uh, what it look like? I got one. It's like a little. It's like a chopped up burger Ooh. on a, like a hoagie bread. So if I you ever come, and shit. yeah, yeah, go to a deli. Okay. Try to get like you gotta get on cocoa bread. Okay. I said like, you gotta like you gotta tell the uh, hey, right cocoa down. bread. What's it called again? A chopped cheese. Hey, right on a chopped cheese. We are gonna get that before we leave. It's got that rhyme. Right. Nah, chopped cheese is a staple in New York. That's why you have to come get it. Yeah, in New York, we definitely gonna try the chopped right. cheese, man. So I up. seen that your last um, tape was in 2020. Are we expecting a new album soon? Hell yeah, man. I got some shit on the way. Happy to be here. I got some singles on the way. Van Halen, no drama. I got some big collabs coming out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit coming soon, man. All right. Definitely like expect more consistency from me. I feel like that's what people didn't realize, but the pandemic also like came in the way a lot of shit, but. This year coming around, I got so much music coming out, how did, and I really gotta focus and like lock in and make that shit. So I how did like you feel shit. like? What have you learned from the pandemic now? Uh, man, shit. Pandemic helped everyone. I think focus on themselves and see things in themselves that's good and bad for real. But um, I like it. I was just telling them it's positive and negative things to it, cause like. I gotta lock in on my music, make hella shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. I, when I was at your set, you said that was your first like festival. Yeah, man. Governor's Ball, New York City, first festival ever. You know, I did some shit like in Ontario, like some little ones and shit, but this is my first festival, man. Right. First festival ever. So what's the difference for prepping for like a tour? I know you're going on tour with 24K Golden. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so, get like, your tickets, 24 Golden, man. November, we sliding. Right. He's here. He's gonna be here soon, this week. That's and, wrong. Um, how do you prepare for a tour then prepare for like a a, like a festival it's two different things because like i feel like on tours it's more like you're really like one-on-one -on -one up close with the fans and the festivals is like you're trying to pull everybody in right. you know what i'm saying so seeing like, you crowd surfing all that uh, yeah. he was lit you know what I mean? that was my first time ever doing that shit right. and fucking and um you know what else what do you want to achieve by the end of the year december 2021 what do you want to achieve when the year I ends i want to be on the main stage at governor's ball next year man all right. and, and this is my last question. I always like to ask this question. Yeah. When in the future, when people bring up Bankroll Hayden, what type of legacy do you want to leave with the rap game? Shit, man. Really? Uh, say that. Say that again. Like, what type of legacy do you want to leave on the rap game? What type of impact? And like, when people in the future, when people are like, "Yo, Bankroll Hayden did this. Bankroll yeah. Hayden did that." What do you want people to say? Yeah, man, you? like pain is temporary. Like whatever you're going through, you can get through that shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. For real. Thank you. You know, shout out to St. John's University for landing. Shout out to St. John's University. I promise I'm going to come there when I'm on there on tour. All right, thank That's you. Fine.